There's a new addition to the accreditation criteria for schools across Virginia. Attendance is now a part of that formula. That's in addition to things like SOL test results and graduation rates. Now this means if you take your kids out of school for vacation, you could be part of the problem and cause a school not to be accredited. Everyone wants their school accredited because we do know student achievement, school accreditation impacts the overall community. 10 News anchor Jenna Zipton investigates what new things Radford is trying to get students to school. Cesar Morales was failing geometry, struggling in math. He also struggled to get to school. I just didn't care. I was like, okay, school's dumb. I don't really, really need it. So Random who killed stuff. Duncan? But once he started working with Frank Taylor, that all changed. Sometimes I'm a tutor, sometimes I'm a mentor, sometimes I'm the person to hold someone accountable. His official title is Radford High School graduation coach. What do you notice about the lengths of A to M versus B to M? He works with students who are absent a lot, helping them overcome obstacles and get to school on time. He also works with students falling behind on schoolwork or failing classes. This will have two coordinates. Yes, sir. The most important thing that I do that leads to student success is building relationships with them. He's able to, to take these students who have difficulties and challenges and, and take them on hikes and, and take them to his farm and take them out to dinner and, and really build a relationship so that they want to come to school. Superintendent Rob Graham says it's just one of the ways the school district is trying to battle chronic absenteeism. The Virginia Department of Education defines that as missing 10% or more of the school year, regardless of reason. It's probably one of the factors in a uh, student's education that hinders them the most. One of the other programs they have here is night school. If you've been suspended, missed too much school, or need extra support, you have to come from 3.30 to 7. Nobody really talks about how out of school suspensions really impact a student's education, and it does, because they're out of the classroom, they're missing a lot of, of, of instruction from the teacher. They get back into class and, and they're, they don't have to make up work. They're ready to, to go from, from where they left off. Show us right now you want to stare it. Everybody here to stare it. But there are positive programs in place too. And I think it's pretty important to be at school all the time. Seventh grader Lily Hurst is part of this group of students getting out of class to eat donuts because they didn't miss any class last quarter. This is actually my first year with having perfect attendance. I've had a couple tardies last year. And it makes me want to come to school so then I can celebrate with all my friends. The next winner is Eddie Saunders. Give her a hand. The superintendent's challenge rewards students who don't miss any class. That includes coming to school late or leaving early, even for doctor's appointments. All right, Isabella. I think it shows that they actually care about attendance and want us to come to school. But there's one catch with all of these programs in Radford. They aren't free. It is frustrating. It is frustrating. And, and you know, I'm not privy as to what those, what the mandates are put in place for. I do think that they are put in place uh, for in the best interest of students, but it does make it very hard for local school divisions who have a set budget to go outside of that budget and try to meet, meet those mandates. The Department of Education is putting more emphasis on attendance for schools to be accredited, but Radford is spending about $60,000 on just a graduation coach and night school. And we try not to cut where it will impact student achievement, uh, and I think in Radford City we do a very good job of that. Graham says the programs are paying off, seeing one of the highest on-time graduation rates in Virginia at about 98% last year. I pretty much like rewrote the play. I don't know. And students like Morales are seeing the results. Once I started working with Mr. Taylor this year, it gave like a like a little boost of like confidence and help to like get encouraged to come to school. The superintendent says they plan to continue all of these programs, including the new ones like the superintendent's challenge and night school. If they have to make cuts, they try to cut things like certain computer software that doesn't make a big difference for students. Next Tuesday, we're taking a look at a popular positive program being used across the country and here at home called PBIS. Jenna Zibton, 10 News, working for you.